Good morning. It's currently 9.54 a.m. and I am getting ready for the day. I'm going to visit a friend in Tel Aviv, but before that I have some work to get done. So I am going to start doing some work. I also wanted to document my first day taking Ritalin, which is an ADHD medication. I don't know how it'll go, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't, but I suspect that I have ADHD, so I wanted to try that and kind of document how that goes, just because why not? And also it might help someone else who suspects they might have ADHD. Obviously it's going to be different for everyone, but I feel like having a resource of like how it worked out for other people is kind of interesting it's always an interesting thing to for me at least so if not for anybody else it's at least for me to keep track of how it goes so yeah first day taking Ritalin let's go it's currently 9 57 I'm gonna take the Ritalin we'll see how it goes it's supposed to take 30 minutes to kick in so I should be it should be kicking in around 10.30, so we'll see if there's a difference. So it's been about 20 minutes since I took the medication, 20-25 minutes since I took the medication and I don't feel that different. I feel like my head's a little bit quieter but I think it might be placebo as well. Who knows? So I, I won't start working until a little bit later so we'll find out how I feel then. But for now I'm gonna get ready for the day by putting on some makeup. Um, today's a really slow day, it's a rainy day, so it's going to be very minimal and very chill, but time to get ready nonetheless. So today, since it's rainy and really cloudy, I'm not going to start with sunscreen, I'm going to start with my eyebrows. I have to brush them out, or I fill them in just so they have their shape. I actually kind of need to redo them, clean them up. But that's for another day. I just roughly try to make straight lines on the bottom and the top just so they look a little bit more shaped. Since today it's going to be very like casual and easy going day, I'm not going to do a lot. I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and pop on some eyeliner. It's like my basic everyday makeup. Curling my eyelash is actually really important. I feel like it really makes a difference between me looking really tired and sleepy and looking awake. You know, I don't think you can tell on camera, but in person it really does make a difference. And I'm popping on some mascara. I use the And B mascara. It's from Japan. Like your mouth always slightly opens when you try to put on mascara. The focus. Very simple, very easy. I don't know if it actually makes a difference on camera, but I hope it does. 
I definitely look a lot more awake in person. And I like to add a little bit of eyeliner. I know it's kind of like opposite to a lot of makeup procedures. Like usually you do all of your eye makeup first and then you put on eyeliner, but I like to add the eyeliner in last just because I'm doing like a flick at the end, like so. Following the natural eye shape, adding a little bit of a flick and then filling in my waterline a little bit on the outer third. And this just like adds definition to my eyes, which I think helps make my eyes pop a little bit more. You can be the judge of that. And actually I'm gonna put on some lip gloss. This is the uh, Etobos Mineral Lip Plumping. Uh, lip gloss. It's actually very nice. The lip plumping, I don't really care for, but it's like a really nice natural shade and it really moisturizes your lips. So yeah, that's my look for the day. I think I'm actually going to change out my earrings as well. This is my little jewelry box let's see i think i'm gonna go with these today these are like my favorite so let's grab those and because they're kind of a statement i don't have to do any other jewelry i only wear my ring which kind of actually matches the texture if you can tell i don't know if you can but yeah Here is the finished look. So it is 10.44 right now. It's been about like 45 minutes, 50 minutes-ish since I took the Ritalin. I'm feeling like really calm right now, weirdly calm. And again, it might just be the weather. It might just be the common soothing morning that I'm having, but I'm feeling pretty chill right now. I'm feeling like really honed in and calm, which is an interesting feeling to have. So I think what I'm going to do is start planning in my bullet journal what I need to do for today. There's some tasks that I need to move from yesterday to today. So I'm going to start there and then start checking off some tasks. Wow, I feel really calm. I feel very like the only way I can describe it is I feel really like honed in and calm and I don't feel like procrastinating my tasks. Like there's an email I've been procrastinating since the beginning of this week. Yeah, the beginning of this week. And I feel ready to write it right now just because I feel so calm and it's weird. It doesn't feel like a dampening, it just feels I keep saying this, but I think honed in is the best way to put it because it just feels like I'm sharp. If that makes any sense. It's nice. Let's get to work. Wow, the email is sent. It took me less than five minutes to do that. And I've been postponing it since the beginning of this week. This is wild. This is wild. I will say I feel a little bit anxious, like kind of like a buzzing in my heart. I, I don't think that really makes sense, but there's like this low grade hum, I feel that's like pushing me to do things. Almost like a energy spike. 
I don't know. It's fascinating, really. It's quite fascinating. Let me bring you in on my notebook. So there's a few things I've had to blurt out just because they're names and like private and what I'm covering here also. I like to use my Google Calendar for planning out what I want to get done that day. Today, I just don't have anything there, but usually I like to block out a set schedule. This is kind of what I like to do. And then whatever I'm actually able to do that day, I kind of track on this side. So like right here, you can see that I wrote transportation to Tel Aviv, I had an appointment, I had a hangout, and then I was editing and publishing. I'll do a more in-depth tutorial on my bullet journal another time, but here's like the overview of it. I will say I'm feeling a little bit jittery, like, shaky almost i'm definitely like honed in so i'm not like distracted by other things but i'm i feel this like push to get things done which is nice but it's also like when i'm sitting still i feel a lot of like jitteriness also this is really interesting just talking to a camera but it's actually kind of nice because like it gets my thoughts out and speaking Speaking to a camera is weird, but it's- I also talk a lot to myself in my head, so it's kind of not that different. <laughs> it's kind of wild to me right now because I really feel like working. Obviously, I'm shooting this video, so I'm not working right now, but I am about to start. It is 11.13 right now, and I feel productive. I feel excited to study, which gets me excited because as difficult as this semester has been, I do enjoy studying, I do enjoy learning, so it's really exciting that I'm excited to study again and like I have the ability to do so, which I think is the big part of it because what, was, what has been difficult this semester has been the fact that you know, I didn't have the ability to focus. I didn't have the ability to really sit for a long time. I couldn't sit for more than like 20 minutes without kind of like blanking out or feeling just the stopper mental block in my head. And the mental block just feels like it's gone. And it's really nice. It doesn't feel like I can move mountains, but I feel like I can actually get everything that I put on my to-do list done, which is a great feeling because there's a lot of times where I was like, I'm gonna put this on my to-do list, but there's a good chance that I'm not gonna get around to it because I'm gonna be too tired, I'm not gonna have enough energy, or I'm gonna procrastinate it because there's a lot of simple things that I just put off. Enough chit chat, let's get into actually studying so I can get some stuff done, use this energy productively. Let's go. actually able to get a lot done. I started on this question for B, the proof, and then did some more. I didn't finish the homework, but I think I did the gist of it. So I just finished my 50 minute study session and I feel good. It really went by really quickly and sorry for the shaky camera. The 15 minutes went by really quickly and it definitely felt like I was really focused. It was amazing and there was a lot that I actually understood by doing the homework because 
I was actually able to sit there and struggle. Like I, before, even when I would do the work, I would struggle to struggle, essentially. If I wasn't crunching numbers or like really moving forward in the question, I would lose focus very quickly. But this time around, I was able to really just sit there and like think about the proofs and like what definitions I could use. And I was like referring to my notes, obviously, but I was able to really sit there and kind of think through what I needed to do, which was amazing because I don't think I've ever been, or like it only happens on my good days. And even on my good days, it's not this good, my focus. So yeah, the Ritalin is really doing its job and it's great, it feels great. I feel really good about my study session. It's currently 12, 16, so I have to start getting ready for leaving to Tel Aviv. But this study session was really good and I'm really, really happy about it. I'm very pleased. It feels good because I really enjoyed the study session as well. So it was good. Let's get ready. <laughs>